Hi, my name is uh, Killian Downing, and I'm an archivist at Dublin City University in Ireland. Um, what are the main benefits of open culture? So for me, uh, open culture is about building trust and connecting people. Open culture is about inclusivity and inspiring people and involving them more deeply in stories about digital cultural heritage. Open, cult cu open culture helps support cultural heritage institutions with consistency and clarity in the complex landscape of copyright licensing and terms of use. And at Dublin City University Library, uh, whenever and wherever possible, uh, it's an imperative step in sharing our unique co collections uh, with our international research audiences. Uh, open culture for me, uh, it really means that anyone can freely access, use, modify, create, credit, and share for any purpose. Uh, and uh, open licensing uh, also supports uh, our long-term cooperation and aggregation to uh, the Digital Repository of Ireland and Europeana, uh, especially at Dublin City University Library. Uh, what are the barriers to open culture? So there are many obvious barriers like funding, for example, for cultural heritage institutions to catalog and digitize their collections even before they can begin to openly license them. There's the complex and changing legislative landscape also affecting uh, our work to determine if material is in the public domain or, or, or how best to license mixed material. Uh, in Ireland, uh, confusion has been a, a barrier and, and this has uh, been overcome with the establishment of the Digital Repository of Ireland as the new national aggregator for Ireland uh, for Europeana. Uh, there's now nearly hundreds of cultural heritage institutions and network association members across Ireland. And I think to date we've had about 11 collection days over the last number of years supporting organisations to open up their collections. <laughs> to share uh, something uh, that has opened my eyes to uh, open culture, I really love to see how smaller cultural heritage institutions or memory organisations can make a huge impact by openly releasing their digitised collections. The Hunt Museum in Limerick, for example, published their Civil Connolly Archive and other collections across 12 Wikimedia projects uh, in 2020, and to date they have nearly 5 million page views across 29 Wikipedia instances. And building on this impact, uh, the team there coordinated uh, Wikipedia edit-a-thons, connecting even more people to their collections and to their museum in Limerick. Do you have a personal uh, message to those hesitating to open up uh, their collections? So I think this is a really important question. And as professionals and cultural heritage enthusiasts, we talk a lot about openness of data, of sources, of collections, and of knowledge. And I think we must really consider how open we are as a community, or even within our own institutions. Uh, that question, I think, has to be more widely considered and co-created with these communities and articulated then in uh, institutional or organizational strategies and, and further kind of nuanced and contextualized in our collection development policies. I would say to anyone thinking uh, about the next step in opening up their collections is to look at the wonderful open glam survey by Douglas McCarthy uh, and Andrea Wallace and this wonderful resource collates and advocates how cultural heritage institutions are making their digital co collections and metadata available available sorry available openly for use. The survey has an extensive range of data points, including the basic information to browse any institution by name, by type, and of course by country. And each institution or organization then links to their own uh, licensing rights statements uh, for their uh, digital surrogates and metadata, and in terms of their uh, copyright policies in terms of use. Uh, the survey is publicly available and anyone with relevant open access data can get involved and participate. And then if anyone has any questions on licensing of digital cultural heritage, I'd really recommend joining uh, or even just going to the page for the Europeana copyright community, which has lots of resources and tools.
all about guiding and shaping uh, inclusive open copyright practice across the cultural heritage sector. Thank you, Gernil Market.